look like funky glasses, but some early adapters are calling them the replacement to your smartphone. Google Glass is a wearable computer, and developers are getting a chance to try out the futuristic shades first so they can give input and create apps. One Minneapolis business recently had a pair delivered, and WCCO's Jamie Yukas got to try them out. A sleek delivery. A number of people gather around. Just landed at Space 150. So we're a digital innovation agency. The company is only the 342nd owner of Google Glass. There's the lens, you know, the touch point, how you turn it on and off. While the glasses might not look the coolest with twist on or off lenses and bulky plastic. The design of it will improve. It will get smaller. How they work? It's pretty sweet. You have two different ways to turn it on. You can either tip your head up or down, or you can tap it. And what you see on the screen is the time, and it says the words OK Glass. It gives me a list of things that I can do. Everything is voice or tap activated. OK Glass, record a video. So right now you are on camera. I hope you don't get nervous. <laughs> so far, so good. Okay. But the thing that is weirding me out is I don't know if I, with having a conversation with you, if I should look at your eyes, if I should look at the glass, or if I should look at what's next to the glass, because I assume that's what's recording. So When you first see someone with these, it is really distracting. Uh -huh. um, but after a period of time, that kind of goes away. Right now, the glasses can do the basic functions of your smartphone. Okay, glass. Take a picture. Pictures and video or searching the internet. It's a Wayne's World quote that came up. You can also write an email. Thank you for the interview. It was very informative. I found the maps feature interesting. Okay, it's showing me where I am. But distracting. So all interact. Mark Jensen sees voice. it differently. Because it's all voice activated, it is something that you have to talk and interact with. So there is a certain amount of distraction. But to me, this would be less distracting than using a smartphone for directions. Yeah. Space 150 thinks these functions are only the beginning. Google's really asking people to help them build what this platform is going to be. The company is testing the glasses to see what types of applications might work for their clients. One idea we had was this would record the last 15 minutes of your life at all times. So if something interesting happened, you could say, hey, I want to stop and save this recording. New York Times. Cooking might be easier if you could look up a recipe but still gather ingredients. It's hands-free, so I can use my hands. But where people move may need some regulation, like a gym locker room or bathroom. There's always this newness, and then people kind of figure out the right, the kind of appropriate use of it. Those uses are creating buzz. Uh, so to cancel, swipe down. On a product that's already looking into the future. We may look back at this in 10 years and say, this was the point when things got really interesting. Now, you can't buy the glasses yet, but they should be available by the end of the year. The developers and customers with the glasses now pay $1,500 for the pair. The price is expected to drop when the new version comes out. Awfully cool. Yeah, you could check the radar while you're looking, walking around. Yeah. Yeah. We could send people information eventually, you know, yeah. what we want them to know yeah, about be good. where they're at. Yeah, that yeah. would be cool. They need them tonight, maybe more showers developing and a few thunderstorms as well, but we did have some showers.